All right. Oh, oh, we're, oh, a little cooking campsite. How fun. The pleasant scent of frying garlic and onion. Ah, oh, the, the Allium family, which I am heavily allergic to. All right, dim-witted little farmer Siri. Look, we need to remember that you cannot eat uh, garlic and onion anymore. I'm so sorry about that. If it's the only thing you've got, sure. But they're gonna have to throw you in the back of the wagon where that very weird dragoon guy was if you're going to eat any of that. And the good news though, is that we're actually doing quite well and we don't need to set up camp to restore health. But what if we actually set up camp to do a little gossiping? Because <sighs> I would really love to know more about our, our uh, we can tell stories, yes. <laughs> Because I would love to know more about everybody before we go ahead and we carry on on the next leg of our journey here in Oregon Trail. So welcome back, my friends. And uh, things are actually starting. I might want to knock on like one of our wooden wagon wheels before I say this, but things are starting to look pretty good because Raven is alive, shockingly, and all of her health has been restored, even though she's had a broken leg and she got shot in the chest and then like she had leg cramps and who even knows what else. <laughs> Uh, none of us can like shoot anything to literally save our lives, but at least we have been leveling up some of those capabilities. And I mean, I'm okay at shooting. I, I just am dim-witted, so I'm terrible at wayfinding. And I was hoping that the neatness would help out with medical, but alas, it does not. I'm pretty composed and that's about it. Uh, Chips, meanwhile, my beloved husband and adventurer Chips, who is kind and heroic, Attitude is high, wit is fairly decent, but he can't really shoot anything. His carpentry is not great, and neither is wayfinding. Then we've got Wah! okay. Then we've got a whole bunch of other things to look at. But I'm I'm silly, dim-witted farmer Siri, so I keep clicking on the wrong things. <laughs> and then we have our optimistic, dim-witted missionary Raven, who is she the best at the medical so far? She's the best at the medical that we know of so far. Uh, and she's extremely loyal, she's very composed, but can't find her way out of, you know, a, a patch of grass and she can't shoot anything. Uh, neither, when it comes to the shooting, can our uh, hedonistic athletic banker Chase shoot anything. And he can't really find his way anywhere, but he is quite witty and somewhat composed. However, we probably want to have some knowledge of if one of these two, Raven or Chase, are any decent at carpentry, or if somebody like Chips or Chase happen to be decent at mechan or medical. So let's tell some stories because that will allow us to grow a little bit closer as a group bond. Okay, oh, so I did learn some things about medical. Basically, we all suck. <laughs> the party spends the night talking amongst themselves, learning more about each other's skills. So um, we now know that carpentry is not Chase's strength. Uh, we know that Raven has a really great attitude, which is fantastic because that affects, uh, if I remember that affects morale. Let's see, yeah, morale, morale. We have very high morale in this group and we basically had half a wagon full of harmonicas before we had to throw them to the side of the road to make room for that weird dragoon guy. And Chase, or excuse me, Chips we learned is not the best at medical either. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm thinking it may not be low spirits, but it may be just like a, a scratch from a passing cactus that might actually doom us, friends. Oh, all right, well, let's keep going. We have the steady pace. We're, we're, you know, the food is pretty filling. I think we're going to go ahead. Are we going to get there before nightfall? Oh, we're so close. We're only seven miles away. Oh, maybe I should, maybe I should go ahead and say like, okay, let's do... Let's do like a uh, strenuous pace because we're almost there. I think that's going to get us. Oh, it didn't get us there. And our hygiene went down a little bit. But you know what? At least we're almost to Courthouse Rock. I wonder what we're going to find here because we had to throw away, like I said, a lot of. Ah! <gasps> wagon condition minus five! The wagon jostles as the unsmooth movement of the oxen pulls it across the ever changing ground. Oh no, inventory overflow. Some items have fallen. Uh, okay, uh, okay, we need to repack because I'm not losing all of those things. So how can I repair? Uh, okay, so let's see, single use. Can I do, so it does one, wow, that's actually a lot of damage. So tongue repair plus one, damaged exposed slot repair, single use. 
Okay, so I think we fixed that for the wagon wheels and then then it's only one spot. Oh my gosh. Well, the good news is we have enough money now, or like we have a lot of room in the wagon now. <laughs> oh no, I should have gone ahead and I should have used the toolboxes. I just completely forgot because actually I think the wagon wheel probably has like a really specific um, set of requirements or something like that. Ah, okay. Well, we're going to probably regret the choices we just made, but at least we've learned a little bit, I suppose. Uh, let's repack everything just so that I've got an idea of where everything is. The bullets kind of look like a treasure chest, not gonna lie. We'll put the Dragoon medallions there, the medicine, and then we've got our little treasures, like our little herbal remedy, the coffee beans, uh, the harmonica. Eh, see, we can throw like a couple Dragoons in here now. So I could, I could probably put up with that. And actually, speaking of the Dragoons, are there more information about the uh like the prioria party yes we agreed to help gather nine missing dragoons who have been scattered across the trail we quite literally dropped robert off at his destination and not a moment too soon <laughs> i just noticed that it actually takes note of what date these different things happened to and we also helped out with star-crossed lovers. And I'm really happy we did that because Ava's father was trying to go ahead and convince her to marry someone she didn't want to. Um, let's see. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to make sure I note everything. No! Ugh, silly demoted Siri. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, we met Ava's father and agreed to help him discourage her from marrying uh, Douglas, but we lied about that. Thank you very much. Uh, is, can I look at that one? Sorry, I'm trying to like make sure we're following through on everything. And then that's Peppard's Folly, and we've already visited with him. And then Frail Monument. We met a family in trouble. That was little Mary. I'm going to imagine that her harmonica is the one that we still have. And otherwise, we've also unlocked like a whole bunch of cool little achievements. I'm a sucker for achievements, so I, I imagine that like, oh, probably Raven and Chips and I, maybe even Chase, because I have a feeling that Chase would want to like really tally everything properly are gathered around writing down in my little journal maybe a joy journal but uh, you know maybe it's a jolt journal because there's some unexpected jolts on the road and i really love that we have like all of these bits and bobs so let's see Emer uh emergent trail california trail discover 25 percent of all waypoints in a single run yay one of the three major uh, immigrant trails. Together with the Oregon and Mormon Trail, the California Trail was most famously used to reach California during the Gold Rush. It was similar to the Oregon Trail in many ways, including its tragically high mortality rate. Oh, why are we going over here again? <laughs> because we think it's going to be a good time, I suppose. Let's see. And then we've also discovered, we're about to discover Courthouse Rock. We went to the Kansas River. Also known as the Kaw, the Kansas River is one of the world's longest prairie rivers. It was named for the nearby Kansan Native Americans. And then we went to the Big Blue River as well. The largest tributary of the Kansas River, Big Blue, was first known as Great Blue Earth River by the local Kansan Native Americans. Oh, so see, we've learned a little bit more and also used up literally all of our wagon repairs. <laughs> we probably should make sure we get some more wagon grease or something. Are those ancient stones of a ruined castle jutting from the earth? No, they are the courthouse and jail rocks, noted landmarks of decidedly natural origin. Yay! Okay, Chase is very upset because we didn't get the medical plants we needed. We had them, but Raven ate them. <laughs> uh, and I think that uh, while he is kind of railing at Raven and like, ah, I can't believe this. Let's go ahead and talk to some of the travelers. I'll go with my husband and we'll introduce ourselves while Chase is like tearing his hair out, trying to figure out how to get money. A few travelers mill about the base of the rocks, taking the opportunity to rest in the shade. They may have valuable knowledge. James? You'll find Chimney Rock not too far to the west of here. You can probably even see it from here on a clear day. Ooh, okay. And then Julia, whoops, eh, eh, Julia. Time was, we called this place McFarland's Castle. Up close, it remembers no such thing. But from afar, one might swear it was some grand abandoned fortress. Wow. You know what? I've never seen Courthouse Rock. Is it still kicking? <laughs> Courthouse Rock is the, on is 
Uh, only the bigger of those two. On the right, the smaller fella is called Jail Rock. I reckon saying courthouse and jail rocks every time strikes folks as a mite too loquacious. <laughs> oh, I wonder what kind of folk you would have met just out there on the trail. Like, using big old fancy words that poor dim-witted farmer Siri is just uh, very confused by. It appears some people are willing to trade with you. What should be done? Well, let's go ahead and see what's available. So there's flour. Oh, those bullets are probably super important. One coffee, two clothes. I wouldn't mind getting the clothes, but I think the bullets are super important. Uh, let's haggle a bit. Let's send Chase to haggle. I don't think we can afford any of those bullets with anything we've got right now. All right, come on, come on, can I? <laughs> like 18 pelts, 225 meat. If we hadn't had to make room for the freaking Dragoon, we probably could have managed it. Um, okay, should we take the two clothes maybe? For like hygiene? So let's make sure we haggle. Chase. Uh-oh, uh-oh, was that a bad one? I'm afraid the, qui the price is quite firm. Chase attempts to reason with Alice, but is unsuccessful. I didn't know that could happen. Oh man, okay, so we could trade like 56 meat for two clothes. Oof, uh, I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I, I don't know, I don't know, like, oh boy, because, like, we probably need the clothes, because staying, you know what, neat and tidy farmer Siri would say we absolutely need to do it, so let's go ahead and trade the meat. And we'll cross our fingers, we can do some hunting again soon. Um, meanwhile, do, I don't really think we need the flour. How much for the coffee, though? Let's try to haggle this down just a touch. I don't really want to trade any of our bullets, to be honest. There you go, Chase. All right, all right. Let's see, six pelts, one medicine, 15 bullets. Nope, I think all those things are too important. Oh, poor Chase, he must be just like absolutely losing his mind. Um, okay, let's see, let's haggle for the pelts again. He must be losing his mind wanting to like get better deals and get more stuff and yet it's just really difficult out here. So let's go ahead. Are we about to hit, uh, do we happen to know? If we're about to hit, we actually don't. We don't know if we're about to go ahead and run into another river, do we? Hmm. And how many of the pelts do we have right now? Let's see. We do have seven pelts. Hmm. And to be fair, nobody... We'll select three of them, I think. There we go. Um, maybe even four? Okay, we'll sell one more. There we go. And I think that Chase really would want to sell the rest of them, but you never know when we might run into a sudden river after all. So let's go ahead and set back out. I really think that Siri of the neat and tidiness. Wait, did I get those clothes or not? I can't remember. Whoa, we're headed to Chimney Rock now. Okay. Chimney Rock, a tall sandstone rock formation that can be seen for miles around. A notable landmark of the westward migration. So these challenges for the route are to collect herbal remedies and we can get some money or avoid contracting uh, dysentery and we get a harmonica. <laughs> okay, we definitely would go to collect the herbal remedies because I really feel like Chase is just like, when we get to the next fort, we're absolutely going to need the money. However, uh, the party trundles westward. Far on the horizon, the silhouette of a tall, thin spire beca uh, becomes barely visible. That being said, like needing to go ahead and gather things, I think that's wayfinding skill. And boy, okay, well, chips, is, chips and chase have the best of the wayfinding skills, so good luck to them. Is it wayfinding skill? I guess we're gonna find out. And chase is quite intelligent, so maybe that'll work. Oh no, chase! <gasps> oh my gosh! A sudden cry rings out across the trail. Chase's foot has been crushed under the wheel of the wagon. Toes may be broken. Depending on the extent of his injury, a good rest may be all Chase needs. If the injury is more severe, however, forcing him to walk will likely invite greater misfortune. Oh boy, let's inspect the injury. Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and... I feel like Chips would step forward to start doing it, but Raven would be like, I've got it, I've got it, because she has dealt with so much illness and disease. Oh boy, I hope she's able to figure something out. Oh, she got better medical! 
Raven examines the injured foot, but cannot determine the extent of the injury, nor the proper course of treatment. When Chase tries to put on his weight on the foot, the pain is nearly too much for him to bear. Okay, so at least we leveled up a little bit of the, like, oh, Chase is wayfinding in health, his broken leg? Oh my gosh! This escalated really quickly. Oh my goodness gracious. He takes some time to rest, but his foot doesn't get any better. It seems that the foot is broken. Chase may be able to keep walking, but he might face further repercussions. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, quickly. Uh, we really need those medical herbs now. Now I'm really glad that I did not use the medication. Um, oh man. I mean, the thing is his, his leg is broken. So actually... Re fully restore an individual's health. Oh man, I used that for no- oh wait, 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 no, that reduces the duration of the injury. Uh, and we'll save the last one in case it gets really infected. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens now. At least, at least that took almost a month off of the broken leg by going ahead and using that medication. Pepper, is that you again? I don't know if now's the time, Pepper. Oh, it's you. Listen, I'm not really in the mood to talk right now. I tried building my wind wagon without further funding, but it was a complete disaster. I don't think I'm cut out for this inventor business after all. All my dreams have been crashing down, just like my flying machine prototype. Maybe I'll see you again in the future. Feet firmly planted on the ground. Okay. Okay, and we completed a quest. Congratulations on completing Peppert's Folly. Yay? Did that help us out somehow? Maybe? Perhaps? Also, I hope we're going, uh, like, are we going fairly slow? Yeah, we're going fairly slow. We all need a really good bath as well. <gasps> um... Do you guys see that snake? The party spies a small thicket of shrubs, each covered with small red berries. If gathered, they have med medicinal properties that may prove useful. We need the medicine really badly but there's a snake there and chase is the only one who's athletic and let's see wayfinding is the ability to traverse dangerous terrain and chips has a little bit of that i don't really want him to get bit he is very witty and I, I don't know, I feel like maybe we should go ahead and try to collect it even though- but that's a rattlesnake, that's a big old rattlesnake but we okay let's think we're almost to the next point we don't really have a lot of money we don't have any pelts to trade i'm gonna try to harvest this the berries are delicate and infamously difficult to harvest it takes an experienced adventurer to gather a large number let's let chips try and i'm please don't get bit please don't get bit please don't get bit his wayfinding went up herbal remedy is up oh my gosh I think that was like a chance of getting bit and he didn't. That was a little bit too much for me. <laughs> ah, and now the wagon condition is going down too. Oh boy. Uh, all right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, uh oh, oh dear. Uh, a labyrinth of will reds crisscrosses this stretch of trail carved into the earth of wagons past and rendered permanent over the years of wind and rain. Walking quickly becomes a chore. The party struggles to keep their footing and must expend more effort to guide the wagon onward. Oh boy. You know, maybe it's time. We're almost at Chimney Rock, thank freaking goodness. But maybe it's time for like a nice stop, a little bit of coffee. Uh, maybe letting poor Chase. Chase looks like he's about to pass out. Like, look at him. He's just barely holding on in there. Um, and then maybe once we get to Chimney Rock, things are gonna start looking up. We didn't get bit by a snake after all, but we didn't exactly gather enough of the medicinal herbs either. At least we got a little bit more wayfinding. A towering spire, stone spire erupts from the earth ahead. At its base is a large mound, as though the massive pillar was once a single mountain, now sculpted down to a fine point. This is Chimney Rock. One of the trail's most storied landscapes. We've made it! And at least we didn't con like contract dysentery. <laughs> All right, friends, it looks like we are trading off on who is going to be the uh, less lucky of our companions. But we've, we've made it this far so far, so I'm sure with a little bit of rest, maybe a little bit of coffee, maybe a little bit of 
luck, we'll be able to carry on. And, and, and I'm sure that this is not going to be a time where I need to start thinking about what I'm going to put on the very first gravestone. I'm sure this is going to be fine. <laughs> so, alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for, uh, I guess, poor Chase this time, who has now broken his leg and is ready to, like, pass out. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, then you guys know what to do. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!